6th graders, I'm standing in front of the Tag Plus C wall for this video because you're actually going to be using a glorified version of Tag Plus C to create your body paragraphs for your essay. We're going to be creating a topic sentence, we're going to be adding transitions, we're going to be giving supporting evidence through citations, and then we're going to be adding a conclusion. You're going to need two documents for this part of our essay writing. You're going to need your gathering information. You're going to specifically be using those that information that you gathered during your research and you're going to need your transitions document because we're going to be introducing citations in this part of our essay. So you're going to need this part, this document as well. Good luck, have fun. This is what our outline for our body paragraphs is going to look like. Again, we're using tag plus C, so we're going to include a topic sentence. We're going to add transitions that connect both paragraphs and ideas within the paragraph. We're going to give supporting examples through citations and we're going to add a conclusion. So the first thing that I need to do is transition into the next paragraph when I'm talking about my second paragraph and it should say one way or one example or something that transitions into the idea now that we're sharing examples of how we become successful students. I use the transition one way. Then I get into my topic sentence. I'm restating the same thing that I have in my thesis statement is now becoming my topic sentence. So I have that pink idea highlighted. So it says sixth grade students can become successful students by using planning and prioritizing by creating a system of recording events. Now I need to give my examples, I need to use transitions, and I'm also citing the evidence that I found. So I'm using not only my transition sheet, but I'm also going back to my research, because now I'm going to actually pull information from my research. So I have my transition again as one example, and now I'm introducing the citation. So I'm looking at the bottom, and it says I can use according to the author or according to. So I have used the transition according to the article task analysis suggests is to keep track on a calendar of all events for the school year. Okay, so I've introduced using an introduction for a citation. Then I go on to my second bullet point. Now I have another transition and I use the word another. So I said another example, the same article says is students should keep track of daily work and assignments in a planner. So again, I've introduced the article, I've introduced the citation by saying the article says. And then I have my final bullet point and I'm including the word a final example of recording events, task analysis states. So again, I'm introducing my citation saying task analysis states is record all after school activities. So I have a whole bunch of moving parts in those sentences that I'm including in my body paragraph. I'm not only transitioning between sentences, but I'm also introducing a citation. Then finally, I need to add my conclusion. My conclusion is really explaining why I incorporated the evidence that I incorporated. So I use that transition word again, saying overall, by creating a system of recording events, students can keep track of events and assignments and become to become a successful student in planning and prioritizing. So I'm really explaining how that evidence ties back to my topic sentence and showing my readers how it all goes together.